guys. All right, so this week our theme story is the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man. Um, this is a story that's passed down from generation to generation. So this is retold by someone. Um, the, it's illustrated by Barbara McClintock, and it's retold by Jim's Aylesworth. Once upon a time, there was a little old man and a little old woman. One day, the little old man said, let's make gingerbread man. Let's do, said the little old man, and they did. So they mixed up the batter, they rolled out the dough, and they shaped the little arms, and they shaped the little legs, and they shaped the little head. And with raisins, they made his little eyes, the little nose, and the little mouth. And with them with sugar glaze, they dressed him in a fancy suit of clothes. When they were all set, they put the gingerbread man into the oven, and they waited. Pretty soon, a delicious smell coming from the oven told them that the gingerbread man was ready. So were they. But when they opened the door, out popped the gingerbread man, and he ran across the floor. The little old man and the little old woman could hardly believe their eyes. The gingerbread man looked up at them and put his hand on his hip and said, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The little old man reached down to grab him, but as quick as a wink, the little gingerbread man ran out the door and down the road, and the little old man and the little old woman ran after him. Come back, come back, they yelled, but the little gingerbread man just looked over his shoulder and said, No, no, I won't come back. I'd rather run than be your snack, and he kept on running. I think they're going to catch him. I think they will eat him. And he ran, and he ran, and he ran. And after a time, he met a butcher standing in front of his shop. The gingerbread man looked up at him, put his hands on his hips, and said, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I've run from the husband. I've run from a wife. I'll run from you, too. I can. I can. The butcher reached down to grab him, but as quick as a wink, the gingerbread man ran on down the road, and the butcher man ran after him. Come back, yelled the butcher, and not far behind, the little old man and the little old woman were yelling too. Come back, come back. But the gingerbread man just looked over his shoulder and said, no, no, I won't come back. I'd rather run than be your snack. And he kept on running, and he ran, and he ran, and he ran. And after a time, he met a black and white cow. The gingerbread man looked up at her, put his hands on his hips and said, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I run from a husband. I run from a wife. I run from a butcher with a carving knife. I run from you too. I can. I can. The black and white cow reached out to grab him, but as quick as a wink, the gingerbread man ran on down the road. And the black and white cow ran after him. Come back, yelled the black and white cow. And not far behind, the little old man and the little old woman and the butcher with the knife were yelling too. Come back, come back, come back. But the gingerbread man just looked over his shoulder and said, No, no, I won't come back. I'd rather run than be your snack. And he kept on running and he ran and he ran and he ran. And after a time, he met a muddy old sow. Sow is another word for pig. The gingerbread man looked up at her, put his little hands on his hips, and said, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I've run from a husband. I've run from a wife. I've run from a butcher with a carving knife. I've run from a cow, all black and white, and I'll run from you too. I can. I can. The money old sow reached out to grab him, but as quick as a wink, the gingerbread man ran on down the road, and the money old sow ran after him. Come back, yelled the muddy old sow. Not far behind, the little old man, the little old woman, and the butcher with the knife, and the black and white cow were yelling too. Come back, come back, come back. But the gingerbread man just looked over his shoulder and said, No, no, I won't come back. I'd rather run than be your snack. And he kept on running. And he ran, and he ran, and he ran. After a time, he met a fox. The gingerbread man looked at him, put his little hands on his hips, and said, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I've run from a husband. I've run from a wife. I've run from a butcher with a carving knife. I've run from a cow and a muddy old sow. I've run from you, too. I can. I can. 
What did she say? As the fox? Hmm. The tricky fox pretend, pretended that he couldn't hear well. I'm not as young as I used to be, he said. You'll have to come closer and speak louder. The gingerbread man stepped closer and in a very loud voice said, Run! Run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I've run from a husband. I've run from a wife. I've run from a butcher with a carving knife. I've run from a cow and a muddy old sow. And I'll run from you too. I can. I can. And then just... And just then, the little old man, the little old woman, and the butcher with the knife, and the black and white cow, and the muddy old sow came running around a turn in the road, and they were yelling, Come back! Come back! Come back! Come back! The gingerbread man looked over his shoulder, but before he could say a single word, the fox jumped and grabbed him as quick as a wink. Before he could think, with a snap and a snick and a lap and a lick, the gingerbread man was gone. The little old man and the little old woman and the butcher with the knife and the black and white cow and the muddy old sow all stood and stared sadly at the fox. He hadn't left a single crumb for anyone. Riddle, riddle, ran, fiddle, fiddle, fan. So ends the tale of the gingerbread man. So he thought he was tricking them, running away, but instead the fox was the tricky one and he snuck and got the gingerbread man. Um, we're going to be doing stories all throughout that, and we're also going to be reading different versions of this. There's a gingerbread girl. There's gingerbread baby. Um, there is a cowboy gingerbread man. There's gingerbread friends. I have tons of gingerbread books that we're going to look at this week and throughout the week to listen to and read and compare them to the original gingerbread man. All right. I hope you have a great week learning about gingerbread. Bye, guys.